Hi! You probably noticed that recently some search results started loading faster than before, especially on mobile. Today we'll look at how can we make our pages render just as fast. But before we do that, let's look at how the web works. Let's say you want to deliver a page to your user. You start with the content, what you actually want to deliver. Then the content can be wrapped into structure using HTML to have paragraphs, links, images and others. Based on that, you can add styling to improve the accessibility and the design of your content. Later, you can enhance the reading experience by adding some interactivity using JavaScript. And last, it is crucial to be able to deliver your content in front of your user by putting your page somewhere on the internet and giving it a URL. Summing up, we end up with the components that make the modern web content, structure, style, interactivity, and delivery. But what if we want to make it faster? We can cut on some content, but if we want to keep it the same, we have to improve the structure, style, interactivity, and really, really, really improve the delivery. This is what AMP, or Accelerated Mobile Pages, does. It is an open source project backed by several news publishers and search engines, and it takes the components that make the web so great and helps the developers make them fast. So if we had a task to make the web faster, what can we do? Well, first we would start with the structure. HTML looks like a tree with nodes corresponding to different pieces of content. Whenever the browser tries to draw a node, it has to compute the sizes of all the child nodes, which can become problematic if some of the nodes load resources asynchronously. In this case, the browser will have to rearrange all the nodes once the image has loaded. Therefore, we could win a lot of speed if we force all the nodes to have their size specified at the very beginning, so that the browser could draw the whole page in one pass. This is exactly what AMP HTML does. Here's an example page using AMP HTML. It has a regular HTML5 doc type tag, followed by a special HTML tag that has the attribute AMP, which indicates that this is an AMP page, Inside the head, we have the regular char set, a script tag that asynchronously loads the AMP JavaScript library, our page's title, the canonical URL that po points to the regular HTML version of the page, and the viewport meta tag, which sets the page to full width on mobile devices. Last, an AMP page has to have a special style tag with the attribute AMP boilerplate that includes an animation to the whole page. It helps the browser hide the content for up to 8 seconds, calculate the layout, and then show the content when it's loaded. The body tag is slightly different as well. If we want to load an image, we won't be able to do it by a regular IMG tag since that doesn't necessarily include the sizes of the image, and it might cause the browser to recalculate the layout. We have to use an AMP-specific tag called AMP image, where we have to indicate the size of the image. There are other tags that can cause the browser to recalculate the layout, which is called reflow, and therefore are replaced or forbidden in AMP. Besides that, there are also tags for embedding special content, such as Twitter cards, YouTube videos, ads, carousels, and others. So we can simplify the HTML, but that's not enough. A lot of the drawing is done by the browser where it interprets the styling of your page, and AMP has a way with that as well. To start things off, AMP disallows some of the selectors and properties that slow down performance or cause redraw, such as important qualifiers, universal selectors that match all the elements, and some of the overflow styles. Then it disables things that can cause additional style recalculations, such as import declarations, uh, style attributes, and, pretty drastic here, style sheet links, except for fonts. How can we use custom styles then? Well, we can put them in a custom style tag in the head of our page. And to make rendering even more performant, AMP makes sure that we put only the necessary CSS in the style tag. Therefore, it allows at most 50 kilobytes of CSS in the script tag. That's quite harsh. There are also speed improvements related to animations, namely that we can only animate the opacity and transform properties. These animations can be done using the GPU since they don't involve changing the layout of the page and can be done really fast. All of these to ensure that the browser can reduce the number of calculations performed while rendering the page. And if you think AMP cuts too much on the styles and animation, 
Here's what it does to interactivity. And forbids any custom JavaScript. Well, for now at least. To understand this decision, it's important to know that AMP is not meant for interactivity-rich applications. After all, it stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages and is supposed to deliver content like news articles, forum posts, e-commerce, social network items and search results. With that in mind and the immense speed improvement, the disadvantage of having no custom JavaScript is not as critical. There are ways to execute custom JavaScript though. You can embed your code into an AMP iframe and that will make sure that it won't affect any layouts on the page. Additionally, all the scripts, including the ones that are related to AMP tags, have to be loaded asynchronously so that they won't interfere with the rendering. These improvements in structure, style and interactivity can get us to faster rendering times. But the thing that can really improve the speed at which our content is consumed is delivery. When you deliver a page to your user's device, they usually do an HTTP request to your server, and your server will perform a series of queries to other components of your application and ultimately will assemble an HTML document that will be returned to the client. This is generally how the web works. But since AMP is meant to use for sites with little interactivity, it might be more reasonable to cache the entire response. You can introduce an additional layer between the client and your server, which will perform the caching since your content probably doesn't change very frequently. With AMP, Google has created a cache precisely for that. This AMP cache does the following things. It analyzes the AMP HTML in the documents, making sure it is valid. It caches all the images and fonts used in the documents so that they will be loaded very fast using HTTP2 from the same CDN. It adds the source set attribute to images, optimizing them for different devices, and it improves the loading of asset links by using the prefetch attribute. And this is pretty much it about AMP. It can be leveraged by your website today so that you could get your content in front of your users faster. An important thing to note here is that there is some criticism towards AMP and the AMP cache component. You can read more about why AMP might not be the best solution to speeding up the internet in an article linked in the description. Thanks for watching.